Casper of Vanta Black. How you guys doing? Doing real good. How you doing? Well, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Uh, so what's been going on? Wow. Um, I, w- I really wish. Um, thank- uh, thankfully, um, it's ended because Mercury Retrograde's ended. Everyone I know has got a car accident like this past week. Like literally everyone, including my sister who's sitting next to me. <laughs> right. Oh, this is good. My car broke down too, but it was easy. It was a battery fix. So that's good. <laughs> Can you hear? Can me? That's working. I think Jenny's is lower. This sucks, man. This is really, I'm really sorry. That's all right. It's like just think, I don't know, I'm not used to having to hit eight to make it go. Yeah, can you test it? Can you, I, I wish that we, we could no, test the audience to see, can you hear? No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. I, I want you guys to be able to be heard, and it seems like this one's working. I, it should be happening. So, uh, okay. you guys are going to start a new club. Yes, Vanta Black. Do you, have, do you have a place that you want to do it at, or you? Um, we have a couple different options that we're working with right now, on, but but I'm holding back on saying yes to any of those because I want to find a place with a stage. So if any of you listening know of a place that has a stage to do horror theater, um, just like for two hours after the club ends, I thought think that would be a really good visual, fun thing to have. Uh, you want to do it in Oakland, I'm, though, right? Yes, I want to do it in Oakland. Um, so if if you know of a place with two. I'm kind of picky. I want two rooms and one with a stage. I want to do horror theater and a goth show, basically. Post-punk, 80s, that kind cool. of thing. Cool. And uh, you, have you ran an event before? I, I know um, you did some drum and uh, bass DJing. Right. Before. Yeah, I was a drum and bass DJ in the, the late 90s and early 2000s. And then when they basically switched over to CDs, I lost interest and kind of fell out and went back with the... I actually started going to the punk shows. And my, my boyfriend lived at the time, uh, a punk house. Talk- Oh, can you hear me? Oh, sorry. I really wish I could. I would oh. be able to do, do direct a little bit better because like, I maybe I'll just thing. talk louder. <laughs> yeah, I used to have this thing where I was like, "You got to." I said, "Spit in the dick," because like basically people have this, are afraid of a microphone. He's I'm like, not afraid. Oh, I'll suck a dick you? any day, no, Roxy. Said, spit in it. <laughs> spit in it. Oh yeah, spit get, get it lubed up. Get it lubed up, all nice and nice and wet and juicy. Can you I hear me? I know one of those guys. Hear my juicy words spitting at you right now. Oh, am I spitting at you? <laughs> I, I think I'm turning Roxy on right now. He's like, oh. His eyes are like here in a headlight right now. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't really think care, he knows you know. what uh, he was in for when he got the twin stars on board here. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm a little bit scared. Hey, Wait, you know, I'm not going to get a drink of water because I smoked the weed. <laughs> um, you guys want to play a song? Yes. I, um, did you get Alien? Can you find Alien Sex Fiend? Zombie Fight? Well, if you guys got something on your phone, that oh, would help. Okay. If not, yeah. I'll, I'll punch yeah, yeah. something yeah. up. I can, I, could, I can get it. I have it on my Spotify. <laughs> we have, uh, next week, we're going to have a... Uh, Albert on, and he's. We're going to be doing the Vampire Radio, and we're going to. Do, I'm going to be recording radio. this band that he knows. It's a one-man band, uh, and uh, in my studio, and we wants to do a pre-recorded, which I usually don't do. It's fun to do it here. I'm not going to talk about the future yet, just because like it's sometimes it's good to keep things close to the vest before it comes to fruition, but. You know, everything's kind of transitional right now. I think everybody's feeling changes, right? You guys are going through oh, your yeah. own changes. Like, you're working a lot more. Oh, yeah. You, I don't know if you were working before. You are not working at... Are you okay? You just uh, had, like, a, a, a an, a, an accident, from what I understand. I don't know if yeah. it happened or not. Well, you know, you live on the wild side long enough, and some bad shit will eventually happen, too, word. <laughs> don't drink and drive, kids. Whatever you yeah, do. Yeah, whatever you do, don't at least drink and drive. In the car. And don't get in a car with someone that drinks and drives, because I wasn't the one that caused the accident, but... But, you know, you might no, think someone's okay, say, like, but you're not in their head. You know, they can nod and look you in the eye and say they're good to go. And you might think they are, but they're not. So it's one of those days, you know, be, um, be that a lesson to all you I've, kids out there. If I, someone's I'm had really too many drinks, I don't listen to them. Of, uh, accidents, you know, you think I would have been, but I don't drive. So that might be part of it. And Barb's one of the best drivers. That, I think you got to pop this thing right here. Well, I think I've died like pretty much nine times now. Days, so man. this is my last <laughs> life. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I gotta make this last one count because I've already been dead nine times and came back through various I've, means. You know, it's, it's scary. This is the last I'm... one. The wild ride's over, kids. Time to square out. <laughs> Not you... too much, but you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know what? I want my song. Jenny, get it. I don't know how to. I don't know how to get your phone. Alien zombie fight. I got okay. you. Cowboys work has never done. Anyway, we're going to do Vampire Radio, so everybody tune in. I'm going to do this for at least another month here, and we'll see how it goes. You know, I I was just kind of disappointed for for the people out there listening. If you are able to, it's like we only could hear it on computers live. And the live stream is very important to me. And, you know, I'm just talking it straight that that was like, it's very disappointing. And 
I asked the ladies here, like, why that was, and they didn't have an answer. Then that's the way it always was. It's like God. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, there, you need like a little bit of like. There's technically probably just one. We gotta got get the devil involved. <laughs> I think they're one and the same, probably. You like that? So. I, mean, I, don't know. I think Ro- Roxy might have some firsthand experience. I'm just yeah. saying. If anyone does, Roxy does. <laughs> Which means that in the best uh, possible compliment. Yeah. I, I, it's not that I'm not, you know, you know what's great about being a musician is tinnitus because you can just make stuff about up what people are saying. Yeah. You know, I go through a couple times a year, just my hearing goes out. Right now, the, you know, the ringing is pretty bad. So um, that's why I depend on headphones. I'm going to be like one of those old guys with the, the horn. Hey, what'd you say? Uh, like I I've had too. earphones my whole life, you know, and yeah. so it's just one of those things. And it does help. It helps when you're doing music, like you're hearing it for the first time, even stuff you, you, you produce, which I got a lot of new music coming up. Okay. And that's been like, been the, like the, the biggest passion for me. It's just getting back into the creative flow. You know, like if you're an artist and you get to evolve, that's growth, and um, that's the life's blood for me. Just hanging around, eating, shitting, <laughs> sleeping. It's just there's not like just everyday stuff. It's just there's no. I don't know. I just I'd rather. I probably I, I am kind of dead if that's the form I'm in at that time. So that's why I do with whatever means possible to stay creative. I agree. And, and have, having fun with it too. So bands become kind of like this grudge fuck, you know. You know, it's like you you've been in a band 12, 13 years with Chris, and it's like not, not that we don't want it to keep going. But like you just like, what are you gonna turn it into? And relationships are that way too. So, and you guys know each other a long time, right? <laughs> Since the womb, we're womb buddies. Yeah, that's what I heard anyway. Oh, yeah. According what to was my it mom, like before the womb? Because yeah, there's no, a there's like, a so, fun so here's story. what I do. It's like, can you guys put some music on? I'm gonna try to work out whatever technical my, shit's going on. You know what? The internet's not working on my phone too, guys. So want want want. Okay, I got it. Oh, this is easy. This is easy peasy. Uh oh. So I mean. Uh, can you talk a little bit about like the uh, the page of Man of Black? Like, what do you guys want to tell people about it? Like, you guys are, are doing it. Great, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's up to you. I'm just kidding. Actually, uh, I'm I'm gonna just shoot it out there for the Van Black members that are listening. If if they are, I'm not sure. Maybe one or two said they would. But um, you should yeah, add you should your friends right now. I um, I met so many cool and creative people at Absolutely. the Cat Club last night. They're like, I know you. I'm like, no, I don't think so. And they're like, no, I do know you. And then I I now I intuitively say, are you in a group called Van? black they're like yeah because i post all the time in there like every day um it's kind of cathartic for me and i I, i've what i've been told a lot of my members to like work through stuff that they can't post on their normal facebook feed it's kind of that's why i like to keep it secret and safe with a close group of freaks that could be like i'm fucking mentally ill and people like they still police it even on a a private site which i find if everybody's over 21 i don't i don't understand the point of it they it's, should it's, have the, the they should you, you should be able to post dick pics and pussy and, and, and tits and ass everything no i think they should have it all and that's what a lot of people don't understand about my group i totally believe in um no censorship i think that's fucking bullshit art shouldn't be censored the human body shouldn't be censored well, absolutely. I mean, and it seemed like it was, it was kind of like a no-holds-barred thing for a little bit, and then obviously they kind of come in. I don't really know what to make of Facebook because, like, right now I think, like, the glowing screen and just, like, having to deal with these computers at a certain point, I think, think we might wake up one day and say, think of, like, all the life that we didn't, we weren't living and just staring at a computer. Um, maybe, but, see, when I'm going out to these clubs and I'm at, interacting with real people, I've interacted the, with them before on Facebook, and it kind of makes it easier to communicate. You're like, I know you. We talk I see all the advantage world. of it, and I take yeah. it, you know, I take advantage of it, of it, but, you know, like, to me, it's just, like, I do see, like, a lot of times gone by, and it's been a blur the last 10 years, you know, working with all the different bands and stuff, and it, I just got out in the woods the last couple of days, mm-hmm. and um, oh, yeah. it made, it made a huge, it made it, it was just, like, just seeing life for the first time. Yeah, Black of I, you, should go, you should go out to nature. Everyone should go out to nature once a month for like I at least a I day. I feel pretty or disconnected two. with it here, and I just like we got back and and just to be in one room after being in this big place. It was kind of like although this room's kind of cool. You talking about this room? No, the the <laughs> one room I live in. Oh, your studio apartment. There's, yeah, I guess there's a door there somewhere. Hey, but it's it's in Mission, so. So I'm gonna like I gotta get these headphones up and running. Oh, okay. It's like it's really like you know it's just if you're used to doing it that way, it's really like it's very difficult. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to play a song for you guys. And I don't right. know what I'm going to play, but it's going to be amazing. It's going to be, it's going to be better than <laughs> the last one. I don't know how you can be better than I Nick like the, the Stripper. Yeah. yeah, that was well, cool. I'm going to just go with, uh, ah, school's out. Why not? It's good.
That's one of those things you learn in life. You know, it, it just like, you, stre- you know, stressing out is not going to help anything. It do- and it's like in, in relationships, I'm not saying any of them, including myself. I've just gotten a lot calmer over the years just saying it's all going to happen. Like, I'm going to open up this bottle of water and drink some. So that was Alice Cooper. He was cool. You know, I think that uh, I didn't realize what an influence he was on me, just like as far as just the, my makeup. You know, like I saw it. And it was just like, you just do the pant, huh? That made me laugh because actually that you do seem like you're very influenced by him style-wise. I, I didn't think of that until you just mentioned it. Yeah, the original Alice Cooper band was lethal. Those guys sh- awesome. slayed. Oh, yeah. I'm one of the greatest bands ever assembled. Get out of town. There's probably nobody that put on a better performance. I can think of. I, w- I wouldn't go that far, but like, he's pretty no, righteous. No, just name one. David Bowie. Okay, David Bowie. Um, Bowie is a different character. I'm talking about performance I'm, art live. You know, he's character time. art. He was character art. It's okay. different. Okay. Character okay. Art. <laughs> of all times, a hefty load. It's funny that there was all those bands at that time, just like, uh, just in in the mix, because there there's not hasn't been a band in 20 years as good as either one of them. Not even close. Not even like one tenth as good. Maybe, maybe one time. Maybe one. Well, maybe you'd have a. Have you seen the Addicts live? They're pretty fucking good, like as far as performance art goes. Like their music's the like Addicts good, but not as good as the Damned. But they put on a better show than the Damned. Yeah, live. I mean, punk's all uh, a whole other thing all together. But it's cool to just go see the old, the old uh, you know, they all the old, old classic guys style. doing it because you know it's cool. Uh, people are more excited about it than me. I saw Iggy Pop in the '90s, and that was cool. And I, I've always been a fan. I didn't know that it would just kind of be end up being my thing because at the time I was more into uh, just other music. But, um, yeah, there's not that many of them left, so I think it's also a treat to go see them. So when you guys were growing up, what'd you listen to? Like, what were you, some of your favorite? Like, like for level we'll start with it here. Like, uh, what's your guilty pleasure as far as music? Like, like what what you wouldn't want people to know Easy. about? Easy, fucking, I love the the hippie music. People hate hippies, fuck them. I love the Beatles. Jerry. I love Led Zeppelin. I fucking love Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, all the greats. Like, we're talking Doors. about the Doors. Like, get out of town. Led they were great acts. Like, they, Pink I, Floyd. Pink Led fucking Floyd. Floyd. He's great. You know, when I when I grew up, I don't. Pink Floyd. Do you guys still listen to this? Stuff? Yes, I have all the vinyl. I, I mean, I'm a big fan of classics. I still got a lot well, of vinyl. Our parents were too, original right? hippies yeah. too. We're indigo I got the children. Vinyl from my dad, basically. Right. He was like, "Well, I don't have a son, so you're you're the closest thing to a son." And he gave me his vinyl collection. I'm a lead singer. It so. was fucking awesome. Dance. I don't mean to look like, but, but like, are you guys still doing that? Because I remember when I was talking to you at one point. See, it's already easier. You know, you just hold it. Like, up the hill backwards. We, um, we're not officially in bands, but we jam out at least whoa, once. Whoa, whoa, Well, me, me well, and Jay's Christian. officially in a band. Well, I'm in a band. Okay. Oh, all right, you, Becky's not in a band. They don't perform. We don't perform, but we're still a band. We jam out. We jam Absolutely. You're a band all if you don't play yeah. shows. Right. You guys like to get like as much as you guys support each other. You, you can't so like you're like it's like sharing the one mic is almost symbolic. In I know. Oh, yeah, we're two headed dragon. <laughs> I was gonna say monster. Monster or dragon. So you feel like is it more yeah, competitive I, I, or is it just you're so much alike that? Uh, no, Becky's fucking competitive as all goddamn shit. Want to fight me? Not me. I'm the passive one. You can't tell. I like to fight. It's fun. It's good I, I, friction. I, Keeps you alive. It's like anything, you know. Uh, it's good to have a strong team around you as opposed to one being kind of submissive and dominant. So. Do you guys feel like when you were growing up, did it kind of go back and forth like a seesaw? Like no, 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 back to control. You were, like, you were, I was she was always the I'm and you, androgynous, you, 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 and I'm pretty thing. fucking feisty. And I'll take on most men, anyone that probably tries to put me in, in my place. Boy, I tell you, they're in for a rude awakening. I had to move away to, to find my voice <laughs> when I was a teenager. Bye, Becky. I got to go be me now because you keep talking so goddamn much. Let me find my own damn personality. And then, because I always thought I was an introvert. And I moved to San Francisco, and then I was around a bunch of boring people, and my sister wasn't dancing and tapping and doing her little thing. And I said, God, you guys are kind of boring me, man. So I'll put on the show for you. And then I realized, no, I'm not. I can be an extrovert, too, man. I, I have some things to say, you know. Yeah, I, was, I was a late bloomer to be an extrovert as well. You know, just, just grew up. Uh, and then I was a fat kid. I and can't imagine you shy. That's uh, I that you know, hard to believe, Rob. No, but I'm saying when you're a fat kid, it, it draws you in. Because, you know, you just, like, you have a hard time. My older brother was... Like, but then when you lose it, it's kind of like being the ugly duck and you turn into a swan. And so it worked out in the end. It's, it's punk rock swan. I love it. Well, I, punk rock, yeah, that's true. I mean, when it, I grew up on the East Coast, it was metal. Yeah. Metal. And it, well, you know, everything's punk rock. It's like a punk attitude. Yeah. 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 So it's like, funny, but in West Coast, people, everybody grows up and it's like a rite of passage to have like a green mohawk. At some point, you're like... 
for us, it was just, it just, and it's still like you see the Hesher's out there, and it's hilarious. You guys still got the jean jacket and the kind of 80s dude. I like jean jackets. I, 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 lo- I love it too, but it's good to also evolve your look a little bit because at a certain point, what you were wearing in your 20s, you shouldn't wear, you shouldn't wear like in, when you're 55. I, I disagree. <laughs> no, but you, you, well, you, yeah. you guys dress differently, I say though, right? That you should never be age appropriate. The second you become age appropriate, yeah. you're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Honestly, that's my honest opinion on it, and I believe it. Like, okay, so I don't know if you know her, but there's this, this grandma that wears the most craziest fucking shit online. Like, I don't know, just psychedelic hippie shit, but she's just crazy, and I, I love her. She's my role model. She's exactly who I want to be. Like, when I think of where do I see myself when I'm 80, that's it. Yeah, it's hard Margin to... Margin in charge. Yeah, I, I just had... Good. What were you going to say? Oh, oh, no. I'm she just, just smiling. thinking loudly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, it's just... I don't. I thought about 80, and it was cool. Like, I've, I, you, you could see it closer, because my friend just died. Uh, and so I, I just... I think, I think, you know, Lester Moore, I don't know if you knew from the Yes Goes. Mm-mm. And no. so it's just... Well, one of my best friends, I know I w- was one of his, or... or I was his, and it was just, you know, it's like, I'm not really cry, crying kind of guy. I had a couple of days where it was hard, but it makes you think about your own life. And like, yeah. what are you going to do with the minutes, seconds, and years you have left? And I, I'm just really trying to be a lot more deliberate about it at this point and just have intent, you know, like yeah. as far as like, just like, that's not making my art. Cause I did it always just the hippie way, the stone, oh, it'll just happen. You know, I just pick up the guitar and a song happens. And it's like, you don't want to be too deliberate cause then it just really kind of kills it. And then that essence, the, the, uh, the muse. And so I'm just kind of just uh, just keeping it rolling with that. Uh, and I just saw 80. Barb thinks she's going to be at like 135. She's like, I'm just still sweeping my porch. God damn it. <laughs> and she just, she wants it. But I think it's hard. Like, to, once you're going to lose your, some of your body, I think that would be difficult for me. Fortunately, we're a little ways off. Yep. Well, I guess the nihilist in me would just point out, eventually everything gets washed away in the sands of time. The sun will go out and all of this will be forgotten. So my philosophy really is to live each day to the fullest, to affect those around you, to spread a little kindness in the world. Because in the grand scheme of things, what you do, is it going to change the world? Probably not. But can you make a difference in an an animal, a life around you that's in the cold and you decide to get out of your car and rescue it? Hell yeah. Does it matter to that animal? Hell yeah, it does. If someone's having a shitty day and you show them a little bit of kindness, does it make their day? Does it change their vibe? Does it affect their reality? Hell the fuck yeah, it does. So I guess my philosophy is just, is (laughs) yeah, okay, call me a hippie. I don't give a shit. I think that... And, and you know, it's great to make art. I'm an artist too. I'm a poet and I make beautiful poems, but does it matter if I, I ever know, become I'm famous? Probably not. Probably not. I, I, I didn't know it was, about, I thought it was about Vanna Black, but. No, you know, you absolutely could have read it on the air. You know, Jennifer Blowdryer did her stuff. Brad Queen of Vanna Black. Let me just interject. I'm going to stop you for a moment. Oh, I'm going to, who's that guy, Jay Z? I know we need one of those sound bites. For you. Goes, I'm, just, I'm, for, I'm just going to stop you for a moment and just shout out to all the Vanna Black crew. And uh, just so you know that we're going to be doing a, a web series too. I'm not sure if you know this. Do you know this? I don't. I, I'm hearing it for the first time. I'm okay. very excited. Talk about creation. I, feel I, I, with delight. I, I, I forgot about that earlier. You're like, what are you creating? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm fucking. I've been shooting a web series for the past month. Um, So basically, it's called Bitcoin Bitches. And I play uh, basically a goth mob mob boss. And we're from the planet Gothica. And we're fighting these alien warring planet called Chads. And Chads are like the normie square assholes. How'd you come up with the term Chad? Is that something you heard around? I didn't. Um, uh, One of my friends. You could come up with your own terminology. I I, didn't just kind of like gives it its own flavor. He goes by M on Facebook. Um, okay. He's in Vanna Black, and he ha- he does po- uh, post Bitcoin bitches in there. Right. It's so, a creator. So what exactly? Is, so what? But so it's a video game, right? Or no, no, no. It's basically a sci-fi web series that we're hoping to make into a movie. So okay, right so now, so it's going to be weekly shows. Well, I, I I would love it to be weekly like shows, but maybe like bi-weekly. A, those weekly shows yeah, that are maybe on the air. bi-weekly or monthly. We're kind of working out the details right now because we're just starting. That's We've very only exciting. The first you know, one. Explain the, the synopsis because that's the funny part. What it's about. Okay, so okay. so what it's about is um, Goss and Chad's fighting, and the Chad's won okay. in, in space. And these two the Chad? The Chad's are the they're these square, uh, misogynistic guys that are like hate creativity and goth and and expression and are fucking really uptight. And they basically kind of kicked the Goss ass because they were more romantic and loving in their culture, and they didn't have the weapons. Not as violent. You Not know, as you violent. Like Not 
it's beating a somebody up. It just seems yeah. kind of stupid, right? But, but the Goths were smart, so they got into a Goth spaceship and went to Earth. The surviving members. I thought now the they, Goths were from space. They are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so now we're shooting everything in present time. Now we're gonna have flashbacks to the space wars of right. the Goths and Chads later. But right now you're gonna be introduced to the character, my character, and M's character um, as I'm recruiting him for my Goth kind of gang, if you okay. will. It's an undercover secret agent kind of gang that I'm starting to, so kill, to fight the chats on Earth. Or, or, or what stage are you at as far as the de development of the uh, idea? Well, to be honest, we're very, like, kind of hands-on doing filming. it ourselves. We're filming. Yeah, we've already filmed yeah. the first wanted, web series. So they're editing right now. We have a lot of, a couple people that are working on the team editing and getting everything right, right before we, we unveil it into the web series. Hey, but but soon. I'm really happy soon. for you guys. It sounds and like a lot of fun. And eventually we want to do a movie. We, we're, this is all to fundraise money to get this movie started. And I want to recruit a lot of the Goss and Vanna Black are already going to be characters in this. So I'm kind of one of those Yeah, just give, give me a holler if you need me. <laughs> yes, and you too would be a great I'll character. The wizard or something. <laughs> you could be part of my goth army. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. I, I, I am in the goth. You know, so I kind of like the kiss army, only better. Yes. A little bit, a little bit uh, nicer, a little bit more bi. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, on so, a, you, if you want to play a song, if you can get. Uh, okay. On rolling. a side note, I just found something. So here's a funny story. Okay. I don't have Microsoft Word, so I've gotten in the habit of writing poetry, but I put it Great. on just That's me, awesome. so no one can read it. So it's kind of funny because if you go on Facebook, you know, you can put your post to only you, which I find kind of ironic but I utilize that and I write little little tidbits and I don't know if they'll get raced away but that's kind of the fun of it it's a mystery who knows I'm swimming backwards out of today until I reach the end of the beginning of my dreams I seem to recall a smile that warmed the world this time I'll dream leap over and find that smile that's what I wrote. You got a lovely mind, sister. <laughs> that was awesome. You got, I wrote you got that another. Today. That'd be cool if you want to read it or you want to just like space them out. But you know, yeah. I have done a couple of shows. We have one called uh, Get Lit with a real uh, Lorca. I don't know if that's her real name, but I had her on a couple of times, and you know, the people would just read a bunch of their stuff, and it was, you know, I just was supporting of that. I thought Get Lit was brilliant, and uh, we had a good time with it. You know, we just kind of. It's fun to bring in uh, guest people to curate on the show and do their own thing. That's what, for Albert, I just wanted to have, have something going on, and, uh, you know, that was cool. But I did the whole show last week. Albert Felix? Yeah, like okay. last, last month. He, he showed up for the last, like, 25 minutes. <laughs> and it was cool, but it was a great set. It was just like, I can do it if I want to. It's just uh, perfection is so boring. <laughs> and, uh, it and, is. Fuck that shit. Yeah, and so I, I just Never do it. complete. And when everybody just got really kind of, like, just very sensitive and just catty about doing DJ, it just wasn't as much fun for me. If it's not fun, why do it? Yeah. And it's like, I agree. You know, and people want to be in that position, and probably more. I get to play. You know, I'm in a band, so it was always like, and also kind of second guessing what the audience wants and yeah. keeping them moving. And, and uh, new and interesting. And yeah. I'll just leave the whole DJ experience out because we have a, a mutual friend that was part of that experience that made it difficult for me. Like I created Phantasm, which I had going for like two years. For to, to DJ because I didn't, there was no other opportunities for that's why I'm doing Vanna Black. Yeah. I'm like, I want to be a resident DJ somewhere, so I'm gonna make it happen, just like with well, don't the be surprised if your guests want to DJ more than you and you just have you know, kind of just it's good to always defer to them. And, and oh, just, yeah, I'm like me, it's gonna be me and Jade, and then we're gonna have two guest DJs every time. That's my vision, you know. And I think it's easier theater. just to do DJs only, but like as far as the draw goes, it really helps to do bands, you know. The fact that we had bands, well, like, I want to do something completely different. Like, when was the last time you went to a golf club that had horror theater? Where you saw someone getting hacked up live on stage. Yeah, as far I mean, you guys think the off. same way I do. I mean, I used to oh, want to do like these kind of like multimedia shows and have yeah. different kind of people from different kind of entertainment I want stuff. More but, interesting. Huh? I want something more interesting because I want to go to a show like that. Possibility oh, yeah. bands. You're open oh, to Oh, I'm it. open to bands, absolutely. But um, that's what I want to do like every three months because when I want to get the bands together, I want it to be like fucking ten bands all day. I mean, that that's what I I like I, feature like feature never too days. much rock yeah. and roll. Yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely. Like, I definitely want bands, because I love fucking bands. I, that's why I, I've hung out listening to your bands. And I had fun. a great I mean, time. I think we got a, a good video. It was one of my favorite ones. I'm doing a band with that drummer again. You know, people just split. And then, you know, sometimes they, the conflicts seem to be about one thing, but they're really another. And so me and the drummer are doing a band called Devil Demon. Ooh, I'm pretty nice. excited about it. So it's going to be a little bit Sabbath-y stuff. Where people don't really want to do that because it's so derivative, but it's what we do. It's kind of in our wheelhouse. Yeah. It's going to be heavy, doomy stuff, but it's it's good to do a one-on-one because I think that like smaller bands are going to be the thing of the future. Because I do too. Just having like five or six people coordinating schedules, Ugh. it's almost like it just doesn't happen, especially no. as people get older. 
three people sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so I tell you. Are you about doing a band together, or is it just like only? Um, not not at the moment. No, me and you. Yeah, we've jammed together. We've jammed we've together. We jammed. So you guys play music, like you play instruments. Well, you, uh, well no, we're no, we're no, mental. We're <laughs> yeah. It's all in our music. heads, I mean, baby. I'm, I'm uh, it's we, all in our heads, yeah, and you know what? My head, it. my imagination station know, yeah, is it. huge. It's fucking huge. My <laughs> dreams trip me out to the point where I don't even want to get into it. But you know, I'm a dream shaman. Talk about one of your dreams. Like what? Like don't you ever just like use us? But, like, how do you even, like, come up with that shit? Like, that stuff was manufactured in my head. Yeah. And it was very just, uh, yeah, you just, it's, it's staggering. I, do, I just don't even know what to say. Okay, so let's Dreams just- are so, my dreams are so weird. Like, I just really am just, like, it, it just makes you wonder. Okay. Okay, so this is interesting about dreams. Um, the thing about dreams is in our society, we don't talk about dreams. So people don't learn about dreams. There's uh, lots of societies where dreams are important, especially Native Absolutely. American tribes. We're part Cherokee, and in a lot of Native tribes, they talk about it. You go to shamans, you have, you know, you go out in the desert, and you, you know, you, you smoke tobacco, and you don't eat, and yeah, and you have all these dreams and visions and all these things. And what do they mean, and how does and that can lead your life? That could lead your whole life is one dream. Yeah, music, but but it's just our subconscious, so we don't really know. But but the funny thing is about being twins is you regurgitate you were Yeah, it's working. Is it? Okay. You regurgitate your mind to one another when you're twins and <coughs> when I was a little girl I used to have nightmares. This is how we became lucid, so this is kind of a funny story. Okay. This is a good one. Um this is a good one. We were, I was five years old. And I just thought, hell, everybody knows how to get out of a nightmare. I didn't know, you know, because nobody talks about it, right? Yep, right? My twin, who I share a room with, is terrified. I don't want to go to bed. Let me pay you money. Go, can I sleep in your bed? I'm I paid her money. Terrified. I literally no, paid her money kids, to sleep in her bed because I was terrified. How many kids you know get terrified? Mind. Common, right? Yeah. I looked me at and her. my brothers have similar stories. I looked yeah. at her like she was crazy, and I said, well, you just get out of it, right? Uh-huh. What do you mean you get out of it? Well, you wake yourself up. Well, how do you do that? I, I said, do that too. it's easy. You close your eyes really tight. You roll on the ground, and you guys do really hard, man. You got to roll really hard. Yeah, you talking about how old were you guys when this was happening? And five. Oh. And then, five years old. And then when you open your eyes, you'll be awake. And sometimes it takes a couple goes, but yeah, you get out of that sucker. And mm-hmm. and lo and behold, she learned to be aware. Now at the time, more I aware did, than you now. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. But 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 the deal is, is the you have shaman. to be aware to control. You have to be aware to be a lucid dreamer. And the more aware you are, the more so gifted you become. So you try become. to control your dreams. Oh, oh are yes, you kidding you me? I hate being aware. Okay, I'll tell you something. My body, my, yeah. You know what? You know how you have said to me before that you think that a little bit hinted at maybe that I have a bit of an ego. But you have no, to realize when I'm God. No, you. I think everybody a hits him. Hint, hinted at it maybe I'm a little just bit. Just a humble servant of rock and roll. <laughs> I love you, Everyone Roxy. Has but I was just saying. I don't think you have a big ego. I, 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 never think, said, I, do. I don't think I've said that. Uh, well, but that's why being self-aware is knowing these. Call yourself the brat queen. You know what I mean? Right. You have an ego. Okay, and and I am totally cool with it. Let me tell you why. Because when I close my eyes, I am God. And I, I have a We're macro perspective of everything, and it's pretty fucking cool. God, God is Satan. It doesn't really matter. I'm in control. No, there is a difference. I'm I think, in control I mean, of everything, you know, because, period. When it goes into Christian stuff, I think it is different, but I'm not going to get into theology right now, but I mean, yeah, I'll Do you believe in, I'm sorry, just real quick, do you believe in, like, the devil? God? God for real? I, I believe in the devil. Really? Like, oh, yeah, as an entity? entity? God, like as an entity? entity? Like, not just, I, I think we all have our, if we're gonna, I mean, I, this is I'm something like with you guys, because I know that you... Do have some similar experiences, but I mean, I think that everybody has their own. De- there's certain spirits out there, and it's like it could be your personal demon or, or somebody aliens. that comes through you if you're a portal. <laughs> oh yeah, so I believe in portals. So <laughs> so we believe in aliens. Or are they aliens? We call aliens yeah, devils. Aliens. Somebody, yeah, yeah. Like, some aliens yeah. could be ectoplasmic. Yeah. 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 Yeah
I'll be honest. I mean, we're open. It, it seems like a big possibility. I know for a fact they show that it makes sense aliens are the already eyes here. Do, like lizard well, stuff. me and yeah, Becky think we scary. might be part well, alien, Well, we, right? we think we're aliens, basically. Because but well, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about it. So you believe in the five or six alien types or races that people talk about? I believe more than that. I'm sure. I mean, think about all the different animals that are on just on this earth. One planet. And a one the fucking planet. The but yeah. I, but my, my idea is like, uh, at a certain point I was convinced that like mm-hmm. some alien species mated with primates. Oh, and yeah. And they made it because we're I, the only. I think so, to be honest, but I'm not 100% sure. We're the only people who have a phone, like it makes a sense. store to buy anything with. Clothes, tools, games. You know, like they play a little bit like animals do, but it's not like it's developed. They don't go to a bar. They don't drink alcohol. They don't smoke. They don't do any of it. They don't even eat cooked food. There's not one animal but us. How do, we, how do we go uh, start from a tribal Opposable thumbs right? and bipedalism. I said anthropology, so I got to say opposable thumbs, uh, grasping hands with opposable thumbs uh, made us to be able to create tools that, uh, for instance, we don't know how any of this technology works, but there's a possibility uh, aliens might have made it with Maybe. I, I'm not going to throw it out. I'm not going to throw it out. Gonna gonna throw it out. It's just, a possibility. Especially with my, the way that I control my dreams, that shit ain't normal. I want candy. No, um, <laughs> Are no, you going to play that song or no? I can. Maybe we should I play can, but you know, I had a been a while, huh? This guy, Greg Elliott, who's in uh, Fang and Fuck Him. And we had just one thing where like, the conversation was like, we're just, they're in the band Fang. Oh, I thought you said, I, uh, they're in the band Fang and I fucked him. I, I, thought, I, I, thought, I, I mean, I, I would, but you know, I'm not maybe weekend. like. <laughs> I'm like, uh, what some, is wrong with my ears? No, he's got a dirty mind. I don't even know. Me and Greg don't. That's not how we think too, too to much. But, it, but, we started, but we were just talking show business shit and just whatnot. And then all of a sudden we started talking about that, that deep esoteric shit. Ooh, and it was I like, like it just. And he was like, that was just like, that's what this show's about. And so, like, I'm not afraid to say, who made God? Or is there a devil? Or, like, do you have a soul to sell? That's I my mean, favorite thing to talk about, to be honest souls with you. souls are like this intangible. Like, what is a soul? Like, like uh, yeah, I went down to the crossroads. I Part of who I am, Roxy Rowling, and I've done exactly. the things I do is because I walked the walk. I walked the mm-hmm. devil's road, mm-hmm. and I've just. Uh, but what does that it. mean to you? Like it's I don't a concept, understand. right? I don't know. And I, like, I, I made a. I made it's like it's a, you know? it's. It's a way of being, right? A way of living. Like Christians, they're like trying to be good. I made a you blood pact. Yeah, but you make a deal. What is the it's, deal? That's like, what do you want? And how are you going to get it? And then it gave me the power. Oh, manifestation of will. I can't, I can't get No, no, it's that. just it's about it's true. But I got gifts. Like I, I worked through. Uh, I mean. It's it's some like you talking about it is a little bit I would I would shy away from it normally, Why? Uh, just because I, I think that talking about um, certain sp- I just I don't it's so beautiful it's I just wouldn't want to spoil it. Your you eyes know? are looking really cool right now. Yeah, I know. Like your eyes are telling me that your that, words aren't. The, <laughs> Isn't that weird how that happens sometimes? Yeah. I can read your your eyes. Uh, so you don't have to say anything. <laughs> so we don't have to say anything for your listeners. Sorry, listeners, you're gonna be no, kept in the it, dark. It's not like that. I'm just saying that some. I have certain th- ideas about that, but uh, in general, I'm just saying that it happened, and I think mm-hmm. we all do it. I think it's more like a, a, a genie. Three, you get three wishes. <laughs> that's so what, what I think. What that's what I think wish? the devil is. Okay, so I have a similar philosophy, or but I believe that your you, wishes you, you are infinite. Them. There's as infinite as your imagination. I, my religion. People ask me what my religion is. You know what I tell them, and they don't believe me, and it's 100 percent true. The never-ending story. Watch that movie. I'm fucking the childlike empress. I know you got a grain of sand. I'm making a million wishes on. I got a comment. Whatever you believe, so it is so. And that's something that Jenny always says. That's her my little tidbit wisdom from you, from you to you, to you to you. Because it's all imagination, but it's a never-ending story. If you believe that you got only three wishes and that's it, and that's all you get. If you believe it's infinity, then hey, that's true to you. My mom believes she's going to heaven. And my mother told me about infinity, and I was that. That's almost like the formed every idea I have after that because like the idea that there's unlimited space in, in space there's no end to space like you know there's, where, where is it's hard where? concept to grasp I'll tell you that much and you can't it grasp is hard it to, you gotta let it go there is an edge you're like <laughs> well that's not it true is. why because it's expanding Numbers well, will go up, and, and, you know, we'll keep going. What's too. beyond that, though? But, that's, but that explains yeah, a lot I know, why. I, I do. We don't know, but we know we can track that time and space and matter all the way to I think light years, I think most of science is bullshit. They came up with some hypothesis, and then they say this is I stand with fact. Roxy on that, because you know what? I always said a science is an inch deep measuring infinity, okay? They, they, they're just yeah, so cute I mean, with their little measurements. They're so limited. Sure. It's right. like, try to look inside my mind. Try that on for size. You ain't going to measure it, buddy. But do I believe there's movement? Hell yeah, I do. Do I believe that that there's something 
Just like we're growing, we're growing beans. Okay, we're growing beans. In this radius. And the, the, our, our, our planet grows and dies, and the sun is going to die someday. Everything grows and dies, okay? So be, everything beyond us is in a way one. And that's where I think we get this beautiful romantic cosmic of God, the devil, whatever you want to call it, is that there's a, there is a oneness because we are all expanding with all the these other one. universes and all this, the space in between. But we're, we're connected to it, aren't we? Like we can go in a ship Everything right now and go it. out and look yeah. down on Earth, but we're still connected through our, through that, right? So, but but then there's this expansion. Now, to me, what I think it is is we are like a toenail on God, and what is God? God doesn't. I don't. Do I think God's aware of us now? I really don't. Do I think there's some cohesion among the organs of all the galaxies? Hell yeah, I do. Do you think I can communicate and vibe out with different? You know, parts of of God of the organ. Sure, hell yeah. So you, you think do. God's like a thinking, sentient being? No, it's uh, a do, one I don't thing. know. No, 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 no. It can't be. There's no, no, no. No, I, no, think, no, no, no. Come back to me. Come back to I'm me here. with this, this right idea here. of one body, right? One body, not a human body, right? Well, people say this, this thing, God thing that they, they pray to, right? Right. You guys well, do, you guys, yes. You guys do you were believe Christian in prayer? When you were growing up, right? Right. But see, I'm a witch, and so I believe on intention, and so intention and manifestation, I believe in, right? Right? To me, how, how different is that than prayer? What is that? You're putting your Because your, you're your praying thoughts? to another being for something as opposed sure, to having it inside sure they you, are. yourself. And just does saying, it matter? Oh, power's right here. Or does the intention matter? Because I've had my mom pray, and God damn it, I've seen it work sometimes. And I've done witchcraft, and God damn it, it's worked too. So here's the thing, is that to me, intention is where it matters, your focus. And the thing is, is people can come together and can collect energy. That's what witchcraft's about. That's what churches are about. Why do you think people pay this the good money to go in the there and lay hands I'm a collector people. of people and uh, energy. Dude, I got a I good sure. point there, right? It was for domination and for uh, to exploit and to pimp out. That's one part of it. There's another I, I think real all part. all churches were started as a scam. Oh, well, me too. Because oh, for like, sure. Lived, but do I lived, think uh, that a group... People gave them money just to pray to God and, and come to them with all their problems and just hopefully they felt a little bit better. I know that well, you have your congregation, your flock. And so, like, we, we just didn't grow up in an era where, like, God was alive. I think everybody knew it was bullshit. You know, all these... Jesus there's Christ... A, there's an ugly alive, side to everything. Years. If you live long enough, there's an ugly side to everything. There's an ugly side to witchcraft, Right. There's always a dark side. And there's to a beautiful yeah. side of witchcraft. Nothing there's an ugly side of Christianity. There's a beautiful side of Christianity. I've seen people come together and weeping people who are broken inside feel saved. Now, whether that's happening, you know, who am I to judge? I'm I think not going to They feel say, better. That's all that matters. That's, I know that's my point. They feel better. My mom, for one, here, this is a true yeah. story. She wanted to kill us. Yeah, she, yeah we if wouldn't it be here if it wasn't for Christ, her, her fake God. fake God. Thank you she for the fake God. Uh, so we're not my, my mom dead. was a witch. And, and she, but back in the eighties, they didn't know postpartum depression. They didn't pass that out like candy, like they do nowadays. Like, oh yeah, post, you're depressed. Right. You know, that was kind of a taboo thing. So my mom went home thinking there's something wrong with her. She had two twins. She's going through a divorce. She's twins were a handful. Well. She's 38 when she had us. I didn't even know. She was 38. She was an old hippie. She was used to partying all the time. That's probably better that she was 38. She's, because, you no, know, I she, think the parents like oh, just doing no. it when you're 19 it and 20 is like well, a kid raising a kid. all by yourself with twins is hard to do. So also she had to have a C-section and a huge ass needle stuck in her eye so thanks mom for that needle You're in her eye a needle because in her eyeball her. so retina detached yeah, her retina, retina detached she, she went through a gnarly from her eye. eyeball now, so thank oh. you mom. appreciate she it she went to one of those Billy Graham crusades that made me feel better for some I know in a coliseum of thousands of people and she Billy said Graham Billy Graham was a big deal man he was a rock star said, there's a witch out there and the god is moving through me for you to come <laughs> down and my mom felt like you know something was pulling her now it was probably Billy Graham pulling her <laughs> frankly that's what I believe I think but she knew she was a matter? witch and that she just stood up because that's, he has had a question and, right. and she, she mean, responded. Of yeah. course, that's I'm not, not giving point. Billy Graham any power. No, I know, but, but the people, the, yeah, the so thousands of people and the energy dead. that's being raised has power. The thousands of the people, it's the, power, the people, the thousands yeah, the of people, people, the collective well, I, I, of consciousnesses. Power to the people. Yeah. Power to the people. Energy, collected energy matters. Yeah, that's my point. That's all, now, the bullshit propaganda, no, yeah, I got problems with it too. Yeah. Okay. I just I, think I, those I, televangelists I, 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 were so. Amen. 
to pass the book. And hey, man, to pass yeah, the book. Yeah, tell Vengeance was so obviously full of shit. And when I did the girl show, and my girlfriend. Like, they can, who believes these? It, they, it's impossible. But well, they did. Oh, they when I dated be, a girl and she had to sit in the car, that wasn't fun either. So, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Christianity at all times. They're very Did you guys go to church, though? Did you guys actually have that? Oh, yeah, experience? when we were When you were little, did you, you believe in it? Like, were you. Oh, fuck yeah, I did. Like, when I was like, Jesus is amazing. When I was dumb, when I was 13, my brain grew a little. I was What's the funniest story you ever told to in confession if you did do that? Oh, we didn't do confession. Oh, you're not, you're not. We weren't Catholic. We were like really. I know. So like, is it all the same religion? Is it, is it all the same Jesus though? Is it like, all the same Jesus? That's some people. I think that know. the imagination in everyone is different. I think everyone has a different Jesus. A it kind of shows that the, the teachings Jesus, are just. Well, oh, yeah. to Pesh mode reference. Same thing with witchcraft. Jesus. Witchcraft is different every damn witch. Talk to one witch, they believe in this and that, and then talk to another witch, believe in this and that. Your You're mind an is, That's good. is a perspective. <laughs> Your mind is is unique. So religion is unique. And you can say, oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a witch. It doesn't matter. You're still going to have a different yeah, perspective. I, think, I don't know if it person. takes away. Do you guys have about why I didn't talk about it? But like the witch thing, like I, I wouldn't talk so about crazy. it because if you're Everybody if you're a witch, sometimes like you don't need to tell people you're a witch. And I, I think it's just uh, deleted. So don't worry. See, for at least as far as I, I, for some reason, I felt it was almost taboo to really talk about the spirit and the relationship. And because and, it's just uh, I don't know what it was. It would take away the power of it. Um, it's not all your secrets, so I don't know. It's it's good, but it's cool to also wield your power and say, I'm a witch, I'm going to fuck you up. You know yeah. what? I like, don't say it all the time, like I don't, and I, I yeah, barely yeah, say it, but yeah. for here, for these purposes, so you guys for use this witchcraft conversation. For vengeance. You've done it for like... Oh, she does. Can I just uh, say, state for the record, I have never cursed anyone. I'm a good witch. I'm Glenda, but don't mess with this badass bitch. And kind of don't mess with me because my sister might fuck you up, too. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, you but I'm, to I'm a total sis. Glenda. Now, she's a little bit darker than me. I would say gray, a gray witch. Yeah, I'm a gray she's witch. She's literally wearing gray, too, which is yeah. hilarious. So, so you... So you gotta if you you would be the killer. Maybe you'd want one who would no. I'm not a killer, but I, I could dead. kill. I, I I believe in taking your power back if someone takes it from you. Hell yeah! And sometimes do I understand I, that. Will someone will that spell hurt me? Yes, but sometimes it's worth it. And a very few times a, have a, I done it. I've done a curse three a times. They always come true, and do, I've hurt like That's hell. Why I don't do times. it? I realized that at some point about oh, me. I, I haven't I haven't done it in years, and I don't plan to do it unless someone really violates See, someone. That's that's the crazy thing is Jenny actually knows that she's going to get karma for her fucking curses. Some witches don't believe it, but Jenny does and she still fucking does it. That's why you don't want to mess with this badass yeah, bitch. You piss me off enough. I don't give a shit. I'll eat that bullet, bitch. You, you're getting that back, honey. You're getting hurt. You're getting hurt. She believes in taking now, karma into her own hands. Uh, now, I said three times, you have to really hurt me. You have to hurt me so bad. I don't fucking care if I'm dead or alive. And that's, believe it, it happens. That's the sad truth of this world is it happens. I've been there. I don't give a fuck if I get run over by a car tomorrow. This bitch is going down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at a certain point, I realized that vengeance is, is kind of base. And I, and I, what I could do spiritually to evolve would be like to like not want bad things to happen to people who have been shitty to me. And of course, I, I don't that's have the, the goal. But we're not all there that's yet. Why, that's no, why but, but no, I was just trying to say that was something I'm, I'm just sharing, I, I'm sharing there. with you I in the that sense way. that like when I got to that point and I wanted good things, it actually like lifted me up and it didn't ta have that take its toll, which is like when you, when you send negative energy, you know, it's like it, it's, it's you mutate and it, and it blows out pieces of your insides. Well, I'll tell you a weird story. The last hex I did was a man that was an addict and, you know, he wasn't in the right space, but I'm not always mentally well. He took a, he took a advantage of me, not physically, but like really screwed me over when I was so down and out. And this is someone that I thought I could trust mm -hmm. and, and I thought was a friend of mine that I put my confidence in and to get... To get fucked over when you're you're like one of your lowest points, I was enraged. And and you know what? Looking back, if I had a few to pull down, down, maybe it would have blown over. But in that moment, I knocked on his door. I looked him right in the eyes, and I fucking let all the fucking curse come out. And that it is what it is. Yeah, and I, someone I, I, someone in his family died. And 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 because I I did it, and I didn't want someone in his family to die. I just said I hex you, and you know I let the universe kind of do it in my mind. But it'll you know, take care of itself. But the thing that happened to me was afterwards I became so mentally unwell. Like I literally thought I was gonna end up in the loony bin. Like I was so close to breaking. Um, also, I had, um, but then there's an entity attacking me, which was which is really interesting. So I don't know if an entity came down and kind of helped me. This is where the whole alien thing comes into play because there was I have an altar I have candles on my altar, right? And there's this one candle, and it was ironic because it was white, which means pure, right? Because I'm like <laughs> usually a very pure, nice person, but it kept going it off can. and on, off and on, <laughs> like it was fucking with me, like you're not pure, yeah, you know? Yeah, and it yeah. was like really 
messing with me. And I'm like, okay, for the first three times I thought it was me. And then Christian saw it happen. He's like, that candle was go- was out and it just lit by itself. Yeah. He, so he's I a day about all that took that shit. candle, we put, put it in the fucking garage. And I'm like, ah. Like I all the candles out of my room. It was more towards the acid days, though. No, like everything had simple. I wasn't on it. drugs at all. Yeah. Christian wasn't on drugs at all. Like I remember. Was saying, I, 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 my per, my Becky per, remembers. I'm yeah. saying my personal experiences happened more during that period of my life. My, like acid yeah. opens up all those kind of doorways. Well, Jenny like, has been doing it. Denny's and some guy comes up to you. He tells you he's the devil. He gives you a piece of cobalt, and like it just seems like you're you're like whoa. This is seem to have such significance, and it was really just some crazy thing that happens to kids because you know. People will, those kind of people will approach you more. You're more open to it. And I, at this point, somebody like that comes up talking that jive. I'd probably uh-huh. just be like, well, you know, yeah, thanks for the cobalt. You know, like, it's just like, I, I wouldn't want it. And he would, it's, it's just a different exchange. And it's also a different time. You know, America's changed a lot in the 20, 30, 40 years that have gone by. And um, I don't know where it's going. It's crazy. Right now, I think we're on the, the, the edge of extinction. Yeah. And yeah. Like, you I just think see we're the- all going to get wiped away in the sands of time eventually, one way or another. But, you know, right now, this is a No, I mean, I think it could happen right? soon because of just the, just the politics that are going on. Like, like there's the, all these people, like, they're these elected officials, right? I'm not, getting, not trying to get in, into politics, but it's oh, like they're don't. not doing the will <laughs> of the people. What? I said, oh, please don't, because it really doesn't matter because we can't control it. And the deal is, is let's just focus on our own beautiful awakening and manifesting through art. If you want to talk politics, you're an artist, right? Then those messages, let's pump that through our art because talking about elected officials, that doesn't get us anywhere. And these marches, they're they're controlled by bureaucrats. They're controlled by cops. That doesn't get us anywhere. When I was a young person, I was right there on the front lines of these peace marches. Oh, yeah, my sign. And then I go home and I'm like, well, nothing really fucking happened. So, but, you know, if you look back in history... You look back, you know, like, let's say the hippie generation, think of that counterculture. Think about all that music and all those, you know, be here now and love is all you need and all these, you know, end the war and, and, and all these messages and art and, and paintings and words. That's where we need to focus our energy, I think. People say I don't let people talk. Songwriting. They were lying. No, it's good. I mean, I'm really trying to also be just uh, let you guys have that and not just... Uh, just be dominating the flow so it's just you know we, we could go into a lot of subjects and really people do want to know what's going on in you guys heads and hearts and i think you guys have expressed it you know a lot you know it seems like you're very emotional about these kind of things which i don't think people really know about you oh we're all heart <laughs> uh, i have a big bark but really i back it up with my heart she's the big dog that's it I'm yeah big dog. Dog. <laughs> to me because I've done a lot more good spells and bad spells. I've yeah. done three she's, bad spells in my life and like good. a 10,000 good You'd like to use a book or you just use your, your <laughs> will? I, I have some books that I use, but I'm also what they call a natural born witch. I was born with powers and gifts. Um, my mom was a witch. Um, and your sister. My sister's a witch. Yeah, my brother was a witch. Book, yeah, books my like friends books are all witches. Like- it's more, you know what? I think you learn by other people around you. Like when I was a little girl, my brother would take my hand. It was kind of like in secret because my mom was a Christian and we were, right. he was supposed to be reformed, but he wasn't. Uh, and he would teach us things. And even my mom. My mom yeah. taught me about astral projection when I was uh, like. Hippie crit, if you will. Like, 12 or something and I was like I'm leaving my body and what is this and she's like oh just sleep on your stomach and you won't slip out so much and I'm like <laughs> you know what Christian mom tells her kid that okay so yeah my mom might have changed her feathers but there, those secret hidden witchy ways were still there and I was still being and her rock collection her. next to her prayer oh, yeah. wall. As a little kid I had this wooden chest now any witch knows that wood is a good conductor for altars and okay. I would just naturally put sacred objects on it and then I would naturally like have a fascination with candles and I'd buy all these candles and stuff. My mom would come in my room and say, what are you doing? You have an altar. Why are you setting up an altar? And I was like, what's an altar? <laughs> like, it's just like, it's I just naturally... It was a natural was a collection. These are my yeah, things. No, these are my things. <laughs> and this is what... And she just looked at me like, oh my God, my child is just like this natural little, little witch. She can't help it, you know? I'd exactly. go outside and get seashells and acorns and just vibe with the ocean. This seems like more like wicked. Tune. More like, like um, you know, you can call it what it is. Yeah. No, I don't like the term it, wicked in that area. I don't yeah. like the term wicked, and I'll tell you why. Wicked I is do. a religion, and and it well, it depends on who you ask. And I'll, it's it's a dangerous word because there's a lot of rules involved, and there's a lot of philosophies, and that's what you people, don't have to listen to all of right, them. And I don't. That's why I'm not wicked. <laughs> that's why I don't identify as wicked. I You're listening wicked. to the Jennifer Polanco show here on News. <laughs> No, well, but, but, I think that I, me and you were hogging it earlier, and then I actually, I'm the quietest one. I'm the quietest one. I told her to talk. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, no, and I want you I'm guys tapping to in, guys. I'm tapping yeah. in. Now. I know, but once Jenny gets started, she never stops. That's the thing. <laughs> that's a beautiful yeah. thing. I, I really did like. Like people were kind of like, you know, make the show about music. You know, I've had bands do live sets in there. Or is it about talk? Because like, it's really the exchanging of ideas. Who is this? Well, oh, I think that we, up yours. I think that we talk about witchcraft a lot because that's where we get a lot of our creativity. Is anything wrong that was you guys yeah. doing? I just thought it was just something that it wasn't sacred. I don't know. It just was something that was very um, just a connection I had with things, and it wasn't really important. And I, I don't. And I don't. I didn't study any witchcraft. You know, like I read the. You should. Con and, con and shit like that, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's not like I just said, "Oh, I'm going to do a spell now." You should. Oh, let me you see should. what I can. We can help you. Yeah, I could train you. Well, we can talk about it more. You know, I, I just, I think for me, like, just the magic was just there, and it's, it's through, the, you know, those channels. And Whatever so, works. Yeah. So not that I couldn't do it, but I was like, what, what do I want out of that, that experience? Like, why would yeah. I want to study it? Would it just be like, just to be uh, more knowledgeable? Or well, I manifest I goals in my house. You know? Like, you can manifest your goals. Like how you were talking about. Well, that's kind of seems sounds like you already kind of been doing that with your devil. Path. <laughs> no, no, that's just one band, but I just think all the way around, that's just a story of my life. But coming from the background I had, mm -hmm. it was just I had to be to, to get out of it. And so it was just, uh, you know, you're building some out of just basically, you know, most of the people I grew up with, like, are either worked at a gas station or just got, you know, had kids. And it was just so, it's been a steady uh, stream of that. And what, uh, but, uh, you know, being like taking like five years or 10 years when I was really sick with some health issues and then coming back with it, it was a miracle. Everything you've seen that I've done is like you know, nobody could have seen it coming beyond my wildest imagination. Just I just wanted to do a show. I wanted to take music back because I, I wasn't able to play music because I was in a lot of pain. No, well, I'm glad that you film better. I, it just shows right you get sick of it and you can manifest destiny. You just fucking yeah. say, this is what you want and do it. So Absolutely. So, I mean, like, like uh, I had Cali Cat. Are, I know are you, you guys might. cigarettes? I know. I oh, okay. I, I have weed. some if you need some. You got oh, weed? cigarettes? Oh, I got cigarettes. That's sorry. I thought you were. No, I don't smoke cigarettes. Um, oh. So, Cali Cat? I know Cali Cat. Yeah, she was talking about something we did, like Masturbation Nation. She talked about <laughs> shit. And she has this roulette cords dildo, and she was talking she's about She's kind it. of a badass. She's definitely an alien witch, you too. You fucking yourself with roulette cords, you're a badass. <laughs> I was like, that, that pussy yeah. took a pounding like an app, you know, just like, but it's, a, but it's rock. It's God, there's no give. Uh, so, she said it was amazing, but she was saying, and she was like, and you think about what you want while you're, and I was like. I do that. Uh, yeah, you might uh, want to think about that. That's really strong magic. It's really strong magic. You guys think about actual magic. Real things strong. that you want. Yes, oh, people, yeah, people. Yeah, you can get, get people. Um, I used to no, masturbate. I think about a guy who would call me every fucking here. time. You call me every time I masturbate. No, I, I don't thought, masturbate with a dildo, yeah. Crystal. Let's be yeah, that clear. Yeah, right? yeah. We, we you might as well let him know. Very hands on. Yeah, honestly, when I see we like flesh and blood. Like you don't want some. I agree with that. I'm not. We will take a crystal and we are all magic. We are a crystal. Yeah, we got crystal fingers. See that? That's all I'm saying. Anyone listening? You guys, you guys knew the symbol. You would have in having this big white rock in your hand, right? I mean, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was meant to be the I actually the it, it stick yeah. little crystals up my hoochie a little. I'm not okay. gonna lie, okay, that's yeah, you, you know, we won't, we don't have to get into it. They've done cocaine at least listening. once I'm in afraid their afraid life. Mom's listening, by the way. Much information. Uh -oh. I Sorry, mom, I don't do that. I'm joking. I was just joking. Becky said that, just uh, it was Jenny. Jenny said it. I don't know. The only movies that interest me are when there's drugs in them, like you know, like clear quartz in the pussy. Blow and blow was cool, right? Uh, huh? What? Blow is cool. Like movies, like I no. like movies in just in general. If they they're like kind of based around drugs, they're much more interesting. Oh yeah, for sure. No, All my drugs. favorite movies are drug movies. Like Fear Loathing Las Vegas is fantastic. It had yeah, bad it reviews. Have you seen High Art? Art? Up. Have you High seen the movie Art's High Art? That's a, a, an unknown drug movie. A lot of people have oh, well, seen that. That's about heroin addicts. You guys are, yeah. up yeah. are you guys still taking kratom? Is that something that you still believe yeah. in? I still believe yeah. it. I'll yeah. speak to kratom. Gospel till I dead. Until I'm fucking For dead, I'll be taking that shit. Yeah. You should do that, or if you have anxiety, or like you have I mental problems. I it's really addicting. You guys feel like that you can't, you can't when you no, don't have it. No, I didn't take it today. It's how much you take yeah. if you take it. But you a don't take a steady bit. dose every day, like. I, I see people with their spoonfuls Maybe like four or five I, times I a week. A a lot. A, it depends. Like, yeah. it, let's say you do take it every day. Let's say you have an accident and you need it. Like right now, my yeah. my ribs are fractured. You can take it as a substitute. Now, this is a plant. This is a natural plant. This isn't made by a pharmaceutical company that's going to make right. you really sick. Right, but it gives sick. you an opiate, kind of caffeinated it, buzz for uh, people oh, out there who have The pain relief, the pain relief is there because I, I can take it. I didn't like it personally, it. but yeah. 
if you take it for pain relief, it's great, you know, and you can take Does it, it for help a few with pain? Weeks. Yeah, like, I don't really absolutely. know the effects. All like, I did was get for a your period? dopey kind of buzz where I felt a little nauseous. I, th- I think my screen, went, my skin went green, and I just felt like when you do dope uh, at certain times, you just get to say, uh, you just make me ill. Well, no, actually, you it, know, a lot of people react differently to everyone. But, but to in the beginning, when you first uh-huh. take it, the nausea is more common. Yeah, right. But um, or like know, a lot of itching and shit, like other opioids. And you should be fine, and you take less. Yeah. Like. Let's say you take you too much. Take too much. Like yeah, take one teaspoon. Trend. That's no, it. I, I was just a, like and then a wait a few hours. In a rolling paper, and this girl, I seen she took like maybe you're, three you're more sensitive. Oh yeah, that's and way she's probably too much. Used to it. Your first she time. Did. No, but she did she that. Did so if yeah. you're doing it more often, yeah. you can. Oh three, yeah, no, you're three spoonfuls. Oh, no big yeah. deal. Oh yeah. yeah. I can oh drink yeah. Like ten. It does feel pain. That's that's pretty awesome. I I thought it was just kind of like dopey. It was a sensation you really wanted from it. I didn't know it was an ant. Oh no, it has multiple reasons for taking things. Anti-anxiety. I have terrible. Sometimes I just want a good day, and it's. I, I don't yes. drink, for instance. I only drink one day a week. And the, and if that's let me tell amazing. you, if I didn't have I kratom, that's like. I mean, if I'm, I didn't have kratom, I'd be drinking every fucking day. Cause I did. Jenny knows. I used to be kind of a little bit of an alcoholic. That's what I do with the snake oil. But then I just drink and and also eat Roxy Rollers Magic Snake Oil every day if I want to be in a good mood. I changed my life and changed yours too. See what snake oil can do for you. It's, <laughs> it's a chill for all yours, baby. For a better tomorrow today, try Roxy Rose Magic Snake Oil. <laughs> so, you know, um, you know, it's just, I, I've been thinking about stuff because I, like every time I did the show, I had I didn't know what I was going to play. I didn't know what I was going to say. And today's no That's exception. Uh, so like we're letting the conversation kind of roll, but let's, let's get a song up. Okay. And everybody.